Hi there, if you're watching this video right now on the day that I'm posting it, well, good news. That means that one of the three Nightfall choices for this week in D2 is the Hollowed Lair, and that means we're here to talk about farming one of the strongest PvP weapons in D2, the Mindbender's Shotgun. If you're here watching this video days or even weeks after I'm posting it, who knows what the hell the Nightfall is right now? What's the matter with you? Click the notification bell, you jabroni, and things like this won't happen to you. Anyway, you want to farm the Mindbender shotgun, I want to farm the Mindbender shotgun, but the problem is the grind for it is a massive, massive pain. See, for all you new lighters out there, we used to have the ability to just blow ourselves up with a rocket launcher at the final chest drop in order to both get our Nightfall loot and respawn at the beginning of the boss encounter to just farm it again. Of course, no fungi bungee decided that was probably too easy of a farm and took away our ability to take our own lives in order to abuse easy loot. Don't get me wrong, I I get why they did that, but it just really sucks. So the farm now is to just actually play the whole entire Nightfall every time, which makes me want to puke all over my shoes. But the good news is we can at least try to blitz through the Nightfall as fast as humanly possible. Last time I checked, the world record time for completing the strike almost a year ago was around six minutes, give or take a few seconds, and me and my guys managed to do our fastest run in about seven minutes flat. Of course, these days we no longer have the ability to put on the heavyweight modifier on our Five of Swords Nightfall cards, so things are a little trickier now. Still, you can get through these really quickly with a bit of practice and teamwork. Alright, enough jabbering, let's get into the details. Now, with most other Nightfalls, one of your goals is to optimize your team in a way so that you nuke the boss in seconds with overwhelming DPS. But not this Nightfall. The Fanatic is a supreme anal goblin and has multiple immune phases, as we all know. With that in mind, your primary goal should instead be to shred through every encounter leading up to the boss as fast as you can and just optimizing the boss fight with god tier ad clearing. A top tree tether hunter with Orpheus Riggs is highly recommended and likewise two bottom tree dawn blades. If you have a friend who insists on being a titan, fine, a hammer titan should be fine. Again, even though some nightfalls or raid damage phases call for things like a well of radiance or weapons of light bubble titans, those will not help you here because of the boss's repeated immune phases. Very speedy ad clearing is our goal, not boss damage, so you want super that are designed to mass clear trash level enemies. For weapons, we had all three fire team members running a 1000 voices in addition to an overall solar burn on your Five of Swords card. Now, I understand that not everyone has the 1k. Whatever power weapon you bring to the party, try to make it one that can benefit from a solar burn. Believe me, turning on void or arc burn in this nightfall will make the entire experience incredibly not fun for you. Also, if you can make sure the tether hunter of the group is running Oppressive Darkness, which will come into play a few key times. Starting off, you want to ride your sparrow past every enemy in the first two rooms. Try to follow the route I show on screen. It's pretty safe. I know that sparrows are more delicate than wet tissue paper, but do your best. If you want to get max god tier optimal, there's actually a select few sparrows in the game that come with a perk that tunes down PvE enemy aggression when you're riding it. I didn't have it available, but I do know that they do exist. So it's worth mentioning. Ideally, you're gonna ride your sparrow all the way to this first room where the walker tank eventually will spawn. Jump onto the platform you need to lower and have your friends quickly clear ads in the room. When you've fully lowered the one platform, you wanna quickly make your way to a safe little cubby hole right to the left of the shield door where the walker tank comes out. Post up in that little hidey hole and when the walker comes out, tag it with oppressive darkness and blast away with power weapons. Be really careful to not kill yourself when the walker's sudden bubble shield pops up. In a perfect world, you nuke it immediately and move on. Your next goal is to get to the room with two platforms that you need to stand on and lower. Ignore all the ads between the walker and the two platform room. On that very note, there are a bunch of ads in this nightfall overall that you really don't need to fight. Shooting them 
is actually a waste of both ammo and more importantly, time. This is one of those situations. So when you finally get to the two platform rooms, split up and lower both platforms while clearing all ads as best you can. Here's where things can get tricky. I know it's technically possible when the big mini boss shows up that you can stay right by the gate and immediately run past him into the next area on a very slim window of time. I don't advise doing that though, because even though you can get by, you usually can't proceed to the room where the final boss is unless someone stays behind to defeat the mini boss. Now, while you could do that, we found it was very easy to mess this up, which will add a ton more time to completing your nightfall. So here's what I do recommend doing. Everyone stays in the two platform room together, killing all the ads, and when the big mini boss shows up, you tag it with oppressive darkness and shred with power weapons immediately. And don't be afraid to use your super in this room clearing a bunch of ads until the mini boss arrives. The second that big boy is dead, don't waste any more time in that room. Get those skinny chicken legs pumping and head to the final encounter. Again, on the way there will be ads trying to kill you. Literally ignore them and run by. Don't waste your time. Okay, now you should be at the boss. Here is my general rule of thumb when fighting the boss. If there's ever a moment where the boss isn't glowing purple and immune to all damage, someone should be hitting the boss with a power weapon. The faster you push the boss to his next immune phase, the faster you get the encounter over with. So every second you aren't pushing the boss to his next immune phase is a second you're wasting. To reiterate, if you can damage him, then damage him with anything you can. Power weapons, energy weapons, whatever you got available. Once he becomes immune and bitches out and warps behind his little hidey hole area, now it's ad clear time. You should know the drill here. If the hunter has tether, tether up and have one warlock turn on the dawnblade and kill every ad that comes into the room. Very quick, very effective, and it makes a lot of orbs too. For the most part, just rinse and repeat. Because the boss is so fragile, make sure you're communicating with your team on who will be shooting him with power ammo next. If you're lucky and have the 1k like we do, it really only takes one good 1k shot to push him into his next immune phase. So just make sure you're coordinating your shots. And and that's pretty much it. Believe me, I know this is a really, really soul-draining activity. In fact, I'm pretty sure they call the gun the mind bender because after you've spent so much time farming for one, your mind starts to actually physically bend and bleed right in your freaking head. But at the very least, I hope this guide helps. Ideally, you're now gonna run the strike a little bit faster each and every time, which is going to save you more time farming overall. Move quickly, don't kill ads that you don't need to waste time killing, blast through every encounter until boss time, harass the boss immediately with heavy ammo each and every time he is vulnerable, and use your supers to clear all the ads in record time. Bing bang boom. If you have any additional tips for farming this nightfall that you would like to share with the group, please do so in a non-debaggy fashion down in the comment section. And while you're down there, click like because I told you to, and also click the big red subscribe button to aid me in my goal of ruling all of mankind somehow. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.